since coming to the university in the mid 90s it's been um, really um, a focus of mine to work with populations at risk so vulnerable groups people with chronic illness and focus on public policy and in the College of Health Sciences been part of a team of researchers this year with really three areas of focus the National Children's Study which is NIH funded five million dollars for a five-year initial contract um, and our team has looked at uh, in Delaware working with AI DuPont and Christiana Care and other institutions uh, the platform for children who are at risk in environmental health and this pilot was done through Children's Hospital Philadelphia and as part of a national initiative. New protocols are coming out so we're really hopeful that in UD we can continue um, beyond this initial five-year five million contract that we've had um, and hopefully we'll be able to get back to those populations. Other areas that we've worked at with the team has been with Urban Affairs and our college uh, looking at ER Medicaid utilization. So those individuals who are at high risk from a policy perspective and also from workforce development, how can we address the Medicaid population and emergency room use and look at what's appropriate and not. And then the other area from a vulnerable population that we've been really focused on as a team effort again has been disaster preparedness and disaster training. And this year in particular focusing on high risk nursing home populations and doing some training also with the Disaster Research Center. So um, since coming here in the mid-90s have really focused on vulnerable groups. And again, some years it's been diabetes and chronic illness, but most recently it's been focused on those three areas of environmental health and children, Medicaid and ER utilization, and then disaster training.